Hello everyone! Today, let's see how we can create and edit amazing tables in Canva. Let's start by creating a new design. There are a few ways where you can uh, create tables in Canva and I will show you a few examples. I'm going to use a thousand by thousand pixel for this example. Once your workspace is loaded, you go to elements on your left hand side, click on it and from here you scroll down, scroll down a bit more and you will see this section called the tables. Okay, click on see all and you will be able to see there are like three types of uh, tables you can create uh, with Canva. Okay, three, three different styles. Basically, they all serve the same purpose. Okay, and uh, you'll be able to see these three dots and uh, from here you'll be given a lot of options once you click on it. You can add a column, you can uh, move a column, you can uh, resize the rows and uh, columns and uh, you can animate the entire table. Okay, uh, let's uh, just double click and see, uh, just add some text or data into it. Okay. Uh, basically, you can adjust your sizes. You can uh, use uh, choose the font you want to use, and you can choose the color of it. You can play around with it uh, as you deem fit. Okay. So I'm just going to type in just random things and just for illustration purposes. trying to just find if there was a copy format function but I don't see it okay uh, let's just uh, let's just uh, copy and uh, we will just fill this entire table first and then we will just uh, do all the formatting later maybe the adjusting of the fonts and everything okay so I'm just going to fill this table up real quick It's going to delete the row and from here we can add a row above oh it's pretty simple uh, it is uh, for your illustration purpose or if you want to present something uh, uh, to your group or a class or anything you can actually use the table from canva to bring your point across You can choose everything and then uh, format accordingly. Uh, unfortunately, I would have preferred uh, if uh, I was able to you know like uh, animate uh, the cells uh, differently, but uh, uh, in Canva it doesn't allow for that. Uh, so we'll have we can only animate the entire table. Okay. Um, just play around with these things if I want to delete a column now it's gone if I want to add add a column you there you have it so just play around with it and uh, whatever suits you whatever what kind of table that you want to illustrate you can actually use it resizing is another thing uh, there are like auto resize functions okay when you click on the table and uh, you can just go down and say you can size the rows equally you can size them according to the text okay how big the text is you can actually uh, resize according to that going to maybe change the color of this and uh, show you that you can actually move the move the items around also maybe you can you want to move this up you just click on it and move it down so now it was at the second row uh, second row first now it's at the third so it's pretty simple to use Okay, this is one style. I will show you show you the other style. 
basically the functions are all the same it is just the styles uh, that are different so whichever suits you you can uh, use it this is one way another way of finding this table is to actually um, go to elements and just type in tables you will be able to get this exact thing if you, if you scroll down and you're not able to see it you can just type in tables and you'll be able to get this uh, get the screen on your canva okay another way is uh, to actually search for tables in your templates uh, there are a few templates that will uh, that will give you the tables there uh, just scroll down and uh, see various various uh, uh, pre-made uh, tables uh, you will be able to find here okay this is one good example okay this is uh, this has got nothing to do with the tables that we saw earlier these are all uh, made uh, from scratch as if we are using different elements such as the rectangles uh, squares and circles and then we are going to make this uh, table so this is uh, the tedious uh, way of doing it but if you're actually using uh, the pre-made version from templates uh, it will be able to, you'll be able to you know like uh, uh, do up a table pretty quickly Okay, here. Templates are a great way of, uh, you know, like making your life easier in Canva because it's all, all all there. You just need to fill in uh, whatever information you need to put in and just modify a little bit. Okay, and if you find certain elements interesting, what you can do is you can actually just click on it, and uh, when you go on top, you'll be able to see that uh, small I button over there. You can click on it and see uh, where this element is from. Okay, and this one so shows that pastel colors wallpaper illustration. Okay, so this is not an editable uh, table. So if you search for that exact uh, phrase or something similar, you'll be able to see this uh, element in your Canva. Okay, not able to see it. Okay, it's in the elements, not templates. Okay, I'll just change it to elements. Okay, I'm gonna paste it over here okay when you search for it you can actually see there are a few uh few options over here so you can actually choose okay this is uh, okay you can duplicate it and place them side by side or maybe bottom and then you can add text boxes to make it into a table Just to play around with the keywords, uh, elements uh, tab is actually a very big, uh, I would say, uh, like a playground and uh, there is like so much you can discover from this elements tab. So whatever keywords that, that you can think of, uh, just uh, type it in and see what you can come up with. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of a body of text over here. Just resize it according to the, uh, to the picture so that you know, it fits nicely and looks like a table. Okay, you can just copy and paste and then align them. Okay, once you have a few uh, varieties, you can just uh, select them all together and then copy and paste. Okay, just select all of them together and copy and then copy paste it. Okay, I'm going to redo this again. Okay, paste it again. Okay, select everything together and then move it. See, it's actually pretty simple. And from here, it's basically uh, adding uh, different elements to it to make your table more enhanced. Maybe add a, add a rectangle to actually form the background of this. this rectangle also that uh, you will be able to format you can change the colors change the thickness of the borders etc This is the this is the way we used to do uh, tables in Canva previously. The tables version that I showed you earlier was is actually something new that came, Canva came up with uh, to make your life easier. But even even then, if you need uh, something uh, to be more personalized or something that is uh, um, something that is not there, you can actually uh, make your own. 
it takes us some time but then uh, it will be worth your time if you are actually able to come up with something that is unique and uh, something that you like okay let's see another way another way is to actually search for calendars calendars are basically a bunch of uh, you know bunch of cells together put together so there you will be able to find uh, editable calendars if you are not able to find it over here you can head back over to the canva main home page and from there you just type in calendars and you will be able to find a whole bunch of templates from there okay uh, let's search in the elements tab first okay what is this language okay. okay I don't know if that made any difference okay just to go in and search for calendar something that you will be able to edit okay this is uh, the home page and I'm going to search calendar over here You will be able to see a lot of templates, pre-made templates, yeah. Okay, from here you choose uh, the template that you like and from there you can make that into your own tables. Okay, it will open up in a, in a new workspace. Okay, if you want to actually bring it over, you can uh, make changes over here or just uh, copy and paste it into your own workspace that you created earlier and from there you can work on it. Okay, all these are editable you can delete it you can add your stuff in I'm just going to get rid of those things that I don't want and then I'm going to copy this entire page the entire table I'm going to copy and I'm going to move it to my own workspace just paste it over here Command C, Command B should do it. And from here, we can uh, arrange and uh, make changes as we deem fit. Okay, calendar is one way you can actually search for class schedules, you can search for rosters, you can search for timetables. There are a lot of things you can search for and then uh, use the pre-made templates that are available and uh, come up with your own table so basically this is how you can actually create and edit tables in canva hopefully you had uh, you learned something new today and uh, thank you so much for staying with me for so long if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then please do consider subscribing as uh, this will give me a lot of motivation to come up with new videos and uh, uh, new tutorials uh, to help uh, help you If you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye